it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over some dosage and calculations problems, specifically drip factors. In nursing school you will have to solve these type of problems and I'm going to go over five sample problems, work them step by step using dimensional analysis and show you how to use them. Then afterwards, I highly encourage you to go to my website, registerednursern.com. A link should be popping up and take the practice quiz to test your knowledge on these drip factor problems so you'll be prepared for your classes. Now, I've also developed other teaching tutorials that go over other dosage and calculation problems, so be sure to check out those videos. And I also have quizzes that go along with those videos. So let's get started. Here's our first problem. Now, in nursing school, you'll be given a problem that's similar to this. You'll get a problem that says, doctor's order says, infuse 1,500 milliliters of LR, which is lactated ringers, over 12 hours with a drip factor of 15 drops, GTT means drops, and then per milliliter. And what you're wanting to solve for is drips per minute. So that is where we're trying to get. So let's set up our problem. How I like to set up my problem is first I like to put the doctor's order. So look at your problem. What is important in this problem? Infuse 1500 milliliters. That's important. And over 12 hours, that's important. And of course our drip factor is important. So we're going to be using that information to put in our problem. So let's set it up. We have 1,500 milliliters is going to go in over 12 hours. Now, every time you're working dimensional analysis, you need to be talking to yourself. You need to be saying, okay, this is how I set up the problem because it literally goes like a story. And in my other videos, I've talked about how to work dimensional analysis. Now, remember, we're trying to get from drops to minutes. That's what we're trying to solve for. So right now we're at milliliters to hours. So we've got to convert to get here. Now, first let's convert our hours to minutes. And I'm going to go over here. I like to work them this way and that way. So what we say is there's one hour in 60 minutes. So we just converted to minutes and our hours cancel out. Now we're in milliliters per minute. But remember, we got to get from milliliters to drops. So now we're going to say, using our information from the problem, we're going to say one milliliter, which we're getting from this part, equals 15 drops. So we're going to write 15 up here, and milliliters cancels out. So we have drops per minute. Now we can solve because we've got where we've got to, wanted to go. So we're going to multiply everything at the top, and one times 1,500 times 15 is um, 22,000. 500 and then we're going to multiply everything on the bottom 60 times 12 is 7 720 and you're going to divide 22,500 divided by 720 and you get 31.25 now with um drip factors you always round to the nearest whole number so 31.25 would be rounded to 31 so our answer is 31 drops per minute. Okay, now let's work another one. Okay, here's our second problem. Doctor's order says 300 milliliters of ampicillin sodium, 500 milligrams, to infuse over 40 minutes. So let's underline the most important information. I think this always helps. Um, so we want 300 milliliters to go in over 40 minutes. And a lot of times these problems like to throw extra stuff in to just throw you off. So you might, um, if you didn't know what you were doing, you would try to add in 500 milligrams and it would throw your whole calculation off. So always make sure you're paying attention to that. So this 500 to us is insignificant. And we have a drip factor of 20 drops per milliliter. And remember, we're trying to get from drops to minutes, to drops per minute. So we're trying to get to drops per minute. So again, I'm going to set it up in dimensional analysis, and I always like to start with what the doctor ordered. Okay, the doctor ordered 300 milliliters to go in over 40 minutes. Okay, so we're trying to get from drops to minutes. We're already in minutes, so we don't have to convert 
from hours. Remember how we had to do that in the last problem? This problem we don't. All we have to do is get mil our milliliters to drop. So what we're gonna do is we are going to say, we're getting this from the problem up here. We're gonna say one milliliter, because that's our drip factor, equals 20 drops. And um, milliliters cancels out. We have drops and minutes. That's where we're supposed to get. This one was an easy one. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top and the bottom and divide. So 300 times 20 is 6,000. And 40 times one is 40. And we're gonna multiply 6,000 divided by 40 and we get 150 drops per minute. So that is our answer to that one. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, this problem says, doctor's order says, two 250 milliliters of packed red blood cells, that's what PRBCs means, that we're gonna infuse blood, to infuse over four hours with a drip factor of 15 drops per minute. So let's underline the most important things in this that we're gonna to have to put in our dimensional analysis problem. Okay, now you really gotta pay attention whenever you're reading. It's saying we're gonna infuse two 250 milliliters. So you're gonna have one bag that's 250 and another bag that's 250 of blood. So you're gonna infuse a total of 500 milliliters. So that is important. And what I wanna do is just actually just write 500 milliliters because that's what we're wanting. And we're gonna infuse that over four hours. And we have a drip rate of 50, I mean a drip factor of 15 drops per milliliter. And we're trying to get two drops per minute. That is our goal. So let's start out with what the doctor ordered. They ordered 500 milliliters, because remember 250 plus 250 is 500. And they want that to go in over four hours. So four hours will go in the bottom. And we gotta get from drops to mint per minute. So right now we're in milliliters per hour. So we got a lot of converting to do. So first let's convert our hours to minutes. We're gonna go over here. You can do it any way you want. I just prefer this, it just works for my brain. Um, one hour equals 60 minutes. There's 60 minutes in one hour. And that cancels our hours out. So right now we have milliliters per minute, but we're trying to get to drops per minute. Now we're gonna look at our problem, and we know that there is one milliliter equals 15 drops. And this cancels out milliliters. So it looks like we're already at drops per minute. So we're done. We can multiply everything at the top and bottom and then divide. So one times 500 times 15 equals 7,500. And 60 times four times one equals 240. And 7,500 divided by 240 equals 31.25. And remember, we round to the whole number with drip factors, so you would round this to 31. So our answer is 31 drops per minute. Okay, so let's go to our problem number four. Okay, this problem says, Dr. Order says, two liters of D5 half normal saline with 50 milli equivalents of potassium chloride over 48 hours. So let's underline the most important parts. Okay, two liters. The doctor has ordered two liters of this medication, D5 half normal saline. And the 50, remember, the problems like to add stuff in to throw you off. It's just telling you that in that big bag of D5 half normal saline, they've added 50 milli equivalents of potassium. It's really insignificant with us solving this problem. And they want that to go in over 48 hours, so two days. And we have a drip factor of 15 drops per milliliter. Now, as you can already see, we got some steps to do because we're gonna have to convert our liters to milliliters and our hours to minutes. So let's get this started. Okay, always like to start out with the doctor's order. So they ordered two liters to go in over 48 hours. And remember, we're trying to get to drops per minute. That is our goal. So first, like what I want to like to do is convert my hours to minutes. So we know that one hour equals 60 minutes and that cancels out hours. 
Now let's convert our liters to milliliters because in order to get to drops, we got to get to milliliters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say one liter. Now I get this from the metric table. Um, I have the metric table on my website. This is just something that you have to memorize. There is one liter for every thousand milliliters. So you just have to know this from memory. So one liter equals a thousand milliliters. And this canceled out liters right there. And right now we're still in milliliters to minute and minutes. So we're trying to get to drops to minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what our drip factor was and it's one milliliter equals 15 drops. And milliliters cancels out. So we are from drops to minutes per minute. So we are done. We're ready to multiply everything on the top and at the bottom and divide. So one times two times a thousand times 15 is 30,000. And 60 times 48 times one times one is 2,880. And 30,000 divided by 2,880 equals 10.41. And remember, we round to the nearest whole number, and um, our nearest whole number would be 10. So the answer is 10 drops per minute. Okay, let's do our last problem. Okay, this problem says, Dr. Order says to infuse 0.4 liters of D5W NNS, which is normal saline, over three hours with a drip factor of 10 drops per milliliter. So let's underline the most important parts. 0.4 liters, and they want it to go in over three hours, and our drip factor is 10 drops per milliliter. And remember, we're trying to get drops two milliliters. That's where we're trying to find out. So like I love to start my problems out, let's start what the doctor ordered. They ordered 0 0.4 liters to go in over three hours. And we know that we've got to convert our hours to minutes because that's what the problem's wanting. So we know that there's one hour for every 60 minutes. So one hour equals 60 minutes. And that causes their hours to cancel out. Now we're still trying to get to milliliters to drops, and we're right now in liters. So we learned from the previous problem that there is one liter for every thousand milliliters. So one liter equals a thousand milliliters, and that cancels out liters. We still got another step though because we got to get to drops, and this is where our drip factor will come into play. And there is one milliliter for 10 drops. And that causes our milliliters to cancel out. And we are already in drops per minute. That's the only thing that's not marked out. That's the only thing that's left. So we're ready to solve. Multiply everything at the top and bottom and then divide. So one times 0 0.4 times 1,000 times 10 equals 4,000. And 60 times 3 times 1 times 1 equals 180. 4,000 divided by 180 equals 22.222, repeating. So our answer would be 22 drops per minute, because remember, we round to the nearest whole number. So that is how you solve drip factor problems. I hope I helped you learn them a little bit better. And remember, go to my website, registerednursern.com. A link should be popping up and should, one should be in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching. And please check out my other dosage and calculations tutorials and have a great day.